I'm Dr. Kevin Lemley, and I'm a pediatric kidney doctor from Los Angeles, and I've just participated in the Nail Patella Syndrome Worldwide Conference in Columbia, Maryland, 2013, uh, talks from which can be found on YouTube um, relatively soon, I'm sure. And I wanted to tell you a few things about how Nail Patella Syndrome can affect your kidney. Uh, it is something that is not well known because it's such a rare disease, but we know a few things well. Uh, one thing is that nail patella syndrome patients often will have both protein and blood in their kidney. Uh, maybe a third of patients will have each of those. Uh, the vast majority of patients with nail patella syndrome, even though they have kidney involvement, in some sense will never have big time kidney problems leading to kidney failure or the need for transplant. Um, so you can know if you have nail patella syndrome just on the basis of that disease, you're probably not likely to have significant kidney problems in your life. A small amount of patients, possibly between 5 and 10 percent with nail patella syndrome, uh, will have more significant kidney problems. Uh, they can present with these kidney problems even when they're children. It does not have to happen in adulthood. And the kidney problems are usually related to having a large amount of protein in the urine and eventual loss of kidney function to the point of being in kidney failure. Uh, these can be found through fairly simple tests, for example, a test of the urine to see if there is protein. And in a person who is otherwise seemingly healthy, that has a normal blood pressure, and has a normal energy, and feels well, possibly that's all that really needs to be checked to make sure there are not significant kidney problems. If your doctor is going to check your urine for protein to see whether or not you may have a problem, uh, they can do a relatively easy test in the office, but I usually recommend doing a little more complicated test where the urine is sent to the laboratory and it's checked in a more quantitative way for the amount of protein in it. And each of the two ones I can think of can be done in any laboratory. They're called a urine protein to creatinine ratio or a urine albumin to creatinine ratio, sometimes called a microalbumin. That second one is the one that's used for diabetics to check for kidney involvement too, so it's a pretty common one. If you're found to have a problem with your kidney by your general doctor, um, in particular if you have a lot of protein in your urine, you probably should be referred to a specialist kidney doctor called a nephrologist. Um, generally speaking, they're broken up into nephrologists for adults and nephrologists for children, which again, again, I'm a nephrologist uh, for children. And what you may find if you go to them, of course, is they've never seen a patient with nail patella syndrome. And so they may have to look things up. They may have to think about them when they first see you. If you know you're going to see someone, you may give them a heads up so they can do that research before. And I'm willing to talk to any kidney doctor that you may see that really wants help from someone with more experience with nail patella syndrome in the kidney realm. Uh, and I could be contacted by any doctor through the nail patella syndrome website. Uh, so this is just to give you an idea of some of the things involved in nail patella syndrome. The main take-home message is most people don't have a significant kidney problem with it. Some small amount of people do have a very significant problem and that you might need to see a kidney doctor, but the way to start is through testing the amount of protein in your urine and that even can come before any blood tests. So I hope that uh, you think about this, look to the YouTube website for some more details, and feel free to contact our website at Nail Patella Syndrome Worldwide for any help you may need with any of the medical issues. Thank you.